How's it going guys? I'm Jack and welcome to a complete beginner's guide to Dyson Sphere program. In this video we're going to be going over the basics of crafting, research and automation and I'll be showing you step by step how to make this machine here which produces blue matrices fully automatically so you can kick back, relax and uh, let the machines do the work for you. So let's get into it. Okay, so we've just landed on the first planet and a few things we need to do. First of all, we need to dismantle our landing pad. This is going to give us a few materials to start off with crafting and research and stuff. Also, I would recommend trying to find a good area. So we want a decent sized area to start building in. So we've got a decent sized area here. Also, we want a copper ore deposit and an iron ore deposit uh, pretty close together and pretty close to the decent sized area. We've got pretty lucky here and landed in a good spot. However, if you don't land in a good a spot as this, you can click on this uh, map down here in the bottom left, and uh, you can take a look at the whole uh, the whole planet, zoom in, and try and find the iron and copper and stuff. However, we have landed in a really good spot here. So what we're going to do um, is we're going to take a look at what we've just picked up from our landing pad. So we've got some hydrogen fuel rods, we've got some iron ingots, we've got some magnets and we've got some copper ingots and with that we can actually do uh, our first bit of research so let's go ahead and look at the tech tree um, in here this shows you everything we can unlock and um, there is a main quest line as well so if you get stuck and you don't know what to do next just try and follow the main quest line uh, but for now all we can do is unlock electromagnetism uh, so we're going to uh, take a look at this so Electromagnetism unlocks the wind turbine, the Tesla tower and the miner machine. So this tells us what we're going to unlock. This research consumption tells us what we need to actually do the research and this data volume is basically how long the research is going to take. So uh, let's go ahead and activate that research. As you can see, we have got a list on the left hand side again um, for what we need to do the research. So in this case, we need 10 magnetic coils. We don't have any magnetic coils uh, at the moment, so we're going to have to craft some. Uh, we do all the crafting in the replicator down here, uh, so let's click on that. This box shows us everything that we can craft, uh, that we've got unlocked, that we can craft. Uh, so let's click on the magnetic coil. Uh, this opens the assembler down here. This basically shows us information about the recipe and how many we can make and stuff. So from here you can see we need two uh, magnets and one copper ingot. Uh, the number in the bottom right corner shows us the quantities of stuff. Uh, this is going to produce two magnetic coils and it's going to take one second to make each magnetic coil. Uh, over here is the produce button, the big shiny produce button. Uh, we click that to actually produce them, clearly, obviously. <laughs> but this number up here in the top right shows us uh, how many uh, stacks we can make per, uh, well, with the material we've got at the moment. So we're going to make two uh, two magnetic coils per stack and we need 10 so we want to make uh, five stacks uh, we can increase the quantity we make uh, just to make it a little bit quicker by using these buttons that are here so we're going to do two times five is ten that's going to give us uh, ten magnetic coils so let's produce those um, as you can see that goes up into the replicating queue uh, they get produced and into our inventory we have um, this checked here use inventory item so if there's an item in our inventory that is need to be used for research it will automatically get used uh, with this check mark uh, ticked so there we go we've unlocked electromagnetism and we have unlocked our first building so we can now do power and we can do automatic mining so let's go ahead and do that Okay, so now we've unlocked electromagnetism, it's time to start automation. How exciting! Um, so we're going to collect up our copper ore and iron ore automatically using the uh, miner machines down here. Uh, so we click on that, grab, uh, grab that and it's going to be in construction mode now. So with the, these machines we can rotate with R, we can also uh, ignore the grid by pressing shift so we can place it anywhere. Um, so the idea of the mine machine is actually to uh, use the cone at the front of the machine to cover the deposits and the deposits uh, the more deposits you uh, cover the faster the mining will take place that was a lot of me saying deposits there <laughs> so that looks uh, like a good amount of deposits even more deposits um, that we've covered and uh, we now need to get some power to the machine uh, every machine needs power and we can do that from the power tab 
Um, I'm just going to take a wind turbine and whack that right next to it. Not, not going to get too much into power because that's a whole other topic. Uh, but basically, the machine has to be in this blue circle and then it will receive power. Uh, the wind turbine is a power, uh, power facility, turbine. so that will generate power. We also have a Tesla tower, which is a power transmission, and that is just used to extend the range uh, of uh, of the power facilities however we they do need to be in range so you can see the dotted line um, that means it's connected to the wind turbine you go over one and then it's not connected so that won't have any power uh, but I like to just do one wind turbine next to the min uh, miner machine and just keep it simple uh, so we can see this is now mined 50 iron uh, copper ore sorry uh, so we can go ahead and collect that up and like I said the more deposits you cover the uh, faster the mining takes place so um, these do have an inventory space it's 50 so we're gonna have to check back regularly just to uh, like clear out the inventory so it can continue mining however we're gonna be automating this very soon uh, with conveyor belts and stuff uh, we need to do this with the iron ore as well so let's go ahead and uh, walk over to the iron uh, we don't actually have another mine machine so we do need to build one in the replicator so let's go ahead and do that uh, replicator we can now go onto the buildings tab here and we can see uh, all the buildings that we can produce uh, so let's go ahead and do mining machine and um, down here is the recipe uh, like before however magnetic coil is in red so we don't have enough materials to make those what we're missing is the magnets and uh, to make mag uh, magnets we need iron ore so what we can do is actually just manually um, manually gather that so we right click on a deposit that's gonna give us some iron or I'm just gonna collect that up um, as you can see down on the bottom here as well while I'm doing that the core energy is going down this is the power that our little robot Icarus has uh, in the tank um, so basically gathering research walking around basically anything needs power and once this reaches zero then um, it's, it's not good you just go really slow and it's 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 pointless <laughs> so the idea of this is to keep this filled up with fuel uh, fuel is pretty easy to come by uh, to start with trees and bushes um, are uh, can be used for fuel so let's actually go ahead and check this out so you can right click on this tree that's going to gather that tree up and uh, now in our uh, mecha panel over here we've got a fuel chamber so we can actually just put the logs in the fuel chamber and that's gonna recharge the core energy what I would recommend um, once we start uh, well the good size area up here it should have a bunch of trees like this uh, so we can actually hold shift and right click on a bunch of trees and that's gonna queue up some actions uh, and we're gonna well I'd ideally clear out all of this and uh, gather a lot of fuel and stuff and also get ready for building so we should have um, enough material now to build our second uh, machine uh, we also need another wind turbine so let's go ahead and build one of those um, as you can see we don't actually need to build the individual parts as long as we've got the material that can make all the parts it will just go into the replicating queue and build them one by one which is absolutely fantastic so let's go ahead and uh, get our miner machine out and cover these iron ores like this uh, that looks decent there right maybe yeah that looks that looks good good to me so let's get another wind turbine down there and uh, that is the first mining uh, again we're mining the iron ore now and these are basically the two base materials we need to start with so we're going to move on to the automation of the blue matrices uh, don't worry we'll be explaining those a little bit later um, but we want to go ahead and unlock basic logistics systems automatic metallurgy I don't know how to genuinely don't know how to say that um, electromagnetic matrix and building assembling processes so go ahead unlock those all you need is iron ore and copper ore um, to make all the parts that you need so uh, we will be back when we have these unlocked and we're going to start building this uh, automatic machine 
Okay, so let's move on to automation. First of all, uh, we've got uh, all of these unlocked and researched, absolutely fantastic. And the next thing we want to do is follow the main quest line over to Solar Collection. And for this, you can see we need these blue matrix, these blue cubes. And uh, if you look over the whole tech tree, you can see we're going to need a bunch of these different types of cubes and stuff. So it makes sense just to automate them. Uh, so what we're going to do is going to set up a uh, a bunch of machines and uh, well so we can just sit here doing nothing and let the machines work for us uh, so I've got 18 salters uh, a bunch of conveyor belts I think I've got like 200 conveyor belts three smelters two assembly machines one matrix lab and one storage and uh, a few wind uh, wind turbines as well for power uh, we'll go along step by step uh, just to just to let you uh, let you follow along so uh, first thing we're going to do is actually put down our matrix labs. This is where we build the blue cubes. Uh, so I'm just going to whack that down there. And uh, if we go into it, matrix we can select uh, what we want to make here. So let's produce the blue cubes. And we can uh, see we need magnetic coils and circuit boards for that. So uh, we can make the magnetic coils and the circuit boards in uh, the assembly machine mark one so we're going to put two of these down one is going to make circuit boards so we'll whack I don't know which one this one let's say this one will make circuit boards so we select the recipe up here uh, so we select circuit boards for that and then uh, magnetic coils for that so we'll sort out power and stuff after uh, we now need um, magnets and copper ingots for the magnetic coils and we can make those in the smelters so we'll whack down two of those and oops, that's in a really bad place <laughs> let's move that up just a little bit so it's a bit neater and this one here we need copper ingots and iron ingots and they make circuit boards so let's go ahead and put another smelter down like that so what I'm going to do, actually, move these over slightly. Again, just so it's a little bit neater. Uh, so that's like that, that's like that, that's like that. Fantastic. So uh, let's set these up. I'm going to put copper ingots in the middle because they are required by both of these machines. I'm going to put uh, magnetic, uh, the magnets on this smelter here. So let's make those there. And I'm going to put on this one we're going to do iron ingots as well right let's get some power to these i'm going to put one power well one tesla tower right in the middle that will supply power to everything uh, we do need to connect that up to the if i can click it short distance wireless uh, the wind turbine so we're going to need a bunch of these so i'm just going to whack that down there I'm going to put another one there and I'm going to put another one down there we are probably going to need more wind turbines but for now that will that will work uh, we're now going to use conveyor belts to link all of these up so we're going to do from this ingot one to this machine here and then we're going to do from this copper one to that one from this one again we'll do that as well and then from there to there as well now to get stuff in and out of uh, the machines we need to use these sorters so you want to go from where you want to take it out of to where you want to put it so we want to take it out of the machine so we click on the machine we want to put it onto the conveyor belt and that's going to uh, make uh, well it's going to make a sorter right there and we're going to do the same there so from the conveyor belt into the machine and we'll just do that along here like so absolutely fantastic and then we need to get these in as well so I'm going to put that to there and that over to there and again use some sorters just like that fantastic so that is the little setup there we now need to get the raw material into uh, these smelters here so the copper is pretty simple we're just gonna go from here we're gonna do a little turn like that and up into there and then use a sorter uh, to go from the conveyor belt into 
the smelter. You just have to wait for the buildings to be built as well before you can place them down. So that is going to be copper ingots being made and you should see them start stacking up uh, over here very soon. Here they come. Look at that in there. They are now getting smelted and they are output to the conveyor belts. That will stack up and uh, it shouldn't be too, pro too much of a problem that we've got two different outputs here. This is just basic stuff. Um, obviously in the future it's, you can be like proper proper on it with organization and ratios and stuff but for now we're just going to keep it simple. Uh, so that is uh, the copper. We now need to get the uh, the iron over. So let's go grab our conveyor belts again. Let's bring them all the way down. And we now need to actually hop over the, uh, the conveyor belt. So I'm going to go like that and I'm actually going to split up split it here so I'm going to move that to there and then we're going to go up so we click up uh, press the up key on the uh, keyboard and then we can produce like a a raised section like that and then we'll take that over like that we are going to do a couple more um, sorters so we're going to need one here to take stuff from that conveyor belt when it stacks up and from here to here and once this is built one from there to there there we go uh, once this conveyor belt has, uh, has been built as well that should all stack up very nicely and there's a final thing to do well there's a couple things to do we need power for these sorters so pretty much everything needs power as you can see uh, so I'm going to put down a, another wind turbine there and I'm actually just going to put one there and I'm not being too uh, fussed about power and stuff right now uh, but you can make a proper power grid and everything uh, let's go over here and actually build these uh, this conveyor belt over here I don't know if it does it automatically or you, or you have to stand near it um, because these little robot things like come out of you <laughs> and, pr and build them so I don't know if you have to be close to it or not but uh, we'll just stand over here for a second right so here are the is the iron ore coming down absolutely fantastic and that should uh, be sorted into those two there let's have a look at that yeah there we go beautiful 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 so the last thing we want to do now is actually uh, store these matrices oh let's have a look at this we've got circuit boards and um, magnetic coils coming out so it's all working it's working guys so we've got magnets coming down that one copper ore coming down uh, copper copper ingots sorry down these two and then we've got iron ingots down this one so the last thing you want to do is store these uh, because this does have an inventory just like the mining machine so once this reach, reaches capacity it won't make any more so we want to actually bring these out and store them in their own uh, their own area so we can use a storage mark one for that so let's whack that down and again use our sorters storage, which can be used like to that store cargo. into there you can manually store very small conveyor belt I know and we need another power another uh, power source uh, I've run out of uh, wind turbines let's go and build one just quickly and we don't have enough stuff to build them absolutely classic what I'm gonna do let's uh, move that over just slightly just like that there we go so we've got blue cubes coming over and stacking up there nicely into the storage uh, mark one so we can collect those up when the when we're ready and start on our next little bit of research which is the solar collection so I hope you enjoyed this beginner's guide to a Dyson Sphere program. If you did, please press the like button. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm suggest my videos to more people. If you do enjoy city building simulation and management games like this, be sure to subscribe and confirm on the channel all the time. And our live stream over on Twitch, link to my channel is in the description. Uh, but as always, stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you on the next one.